Hello and welcome to my channel All About Accountancy where we convert your accounting problems into solutions. I am your host Professor Tanmay Kesarkar and welcome to my series Source Documents. Source Documents is a series in which I explain the meaning and purpose of some of the source documents which are maintained by business organizations. I will also show you how to draw some of these source documents. But before moving any further with today's video, I would like to remind you about the HSE crash course which is starting from 5th January 2019. If you wish to enroll for this course or if you have any inquiries, you could contact me on my various social media links. All the links are given in the description box down below. You could also contact me through email. My email ID is also given in the description box down below. Today we are going to talk about debit note. A debit note is a source document which is issued to a person in order to inform him or her that his or her account has been debited in our books. A debit note is just like a letter. For instance, if I am debiting Bharti's account, I will issue a debit note to Bharti informing her that I am debiting her account in my books. A debit note is normally issued in case of purchase returns. Purchase returns are goods which were once purchased but now are being returned. Let us take an example. I purchase goods from Bharti. Out of those goods, some goods are either defective or they are not as per my choice or for any reason, I want to return those goods now. So I will write a debit note and issue it to Bharti informing her that I am debiting her account in my books. Now why will I debit her account in my books? For that you will have to understand its journal entry. Now that we know how to pass a journal entry, you will understand this concept better. The transaction is I returned goods to Bharti. So the two aspects in this transaction are goods and Bharti. Bharti is the receiver of the goods and hence I will debit Bharti's account. Hence I will create a debit note. I will credit the goods account because the goods are going out. And as we all know, goods account does not exist in accountancy. So I will replace the goods account with purchase return account. So a debit note acts as a proof for the purchase returns as well. Now that we know what do you mean by a debit note and what is the purpose of a debit note, let us move on to see how to draw a debit note. Hi guys, today I am going to teach you how to draw a debit note. So the first step in drawing a debit note is to draw the three sides that is the top side and the left and right side. This step is common for all the source documents. So your document would look something like this after drawing the three lines. So the first step is to write the name of the company who is making this debit note. So I am going to assume the name of the company to be Alpha Limited. And I am going to just write Mumbai. You can write the entire address if provided. Then I am going to write the word debit note in bold in the center. And I will also underline it. After this I am going to write the debit note number on the left. And the date on the right. After this, we would write 2 over here and we would write the receiver's name and address over here. So I will assume the receiver's name to be Beta Limited and I will write uh, maybe Sangli. Hmm. So this is just like a letter over here. And after this, we are going to write Dear Sir slash madam we are pleased in advising that your account has been debited in our books with rupees whatever amount 
so let us take the amount to be 1000 and 500 in brackets we would write this amount in figures you could also do this vice versa that is you can write the figures outside the bracket and the words in bracket that is interchangeable hmm. following are the details comma please confirm that is in order now we would give the details of the goods, the quantity of the goods, the rate of the goods and all those things below this. So I would make again a small table. So here I have made four columns. First one for the particulars. Second one for the quantity. Third one for the rate and the fourth one for amount. So the amount is 1500. Let us assume the rate to be 15. Then the quantity will be 100. And I have written maybe uh, packets of biscuits. So the total will be 1500. And we can close this over here. After this, the debit note is signed by three people. So, prepared by checked by and authorized by. So, this is same like a voucher but the receiver will never sign this and now we will end it this is how you prepare a debit note i hope you have understood today's video about debit note if you have then please like and share my video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new video i upload videos every wednesday and sunday if you have any queries or suggestions, you can use the comment box down below. See you in my next video. Till then, this is Professor Tanmay Kesarkar signing off. Good luck and take care.